Hey guys, this is Carl. Welcome to Promo Look At. These are basically videos that I do for tabletop gaming. And without further ado, today's promo we're going to be looking at is for Pokemon, a training card game. And the promo card we're looking at is a basic thing of Pokeball with saying Pokemon on both sections, which is not really the promo, but standard background. But the promo we're going to actually be looking at is Mewtwo, a basic Pokemon with 60 HP. It's a psychic type. And Mewtwo is right here doing like a side wave beam from the looks of it and you got trees in the back so it's not a bad looking card it's a genetic pokemon length six feet seven seven inches weighs around 269 pounds it's a black star promo for one energy you get to use energy control flip a coin if heads choose a basic energy card attached to one of your opponent's pokemon and attach it to another po of your opponent's pokemon of your choice so that's basically that and telekinesis for three en uh, psychic energies, you get to use this move. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage to that Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for that attack. Any other effects would happen after applying weakness and resistance still happen. So that's a little contradicting. I'll explain it in a little bit. It has a weakness as a psychic. It has no resistance and a retreat cost of two any type of energy. And then down here it says a scientist created this Pokemon after years of her horrific gene splicing and dna engineering experiments level 30 number 150 illustration by christopher rush at 95 96 98 nintendo creatures game freak at 99 2000s wizards 12 as you guys can see so that's basically this pokemon card that we have here and what can i say about it well let's go with its abilities so energy control which you just need one psychic energy which i know i have my energies right here so let's just say i wanted to use the, the multi it doesn't matter because i can change that into a, a psychic so then all of a sudden i use the the attack i flip a coin and depending on the situation heads so let me take out these pokemon right here i'm just going to say the field looks like this and doesn't matter so it basically i got head so it says if heads choose a basic energy attached to one of your opponent's pokemon and attach it to another pokemon of your choice so i can just say i'm going to move this one to here or if not i'd be like all right so you just need three for that one you know what i'll move it to this one i'll take the falling asleep over you almost doing 50 damage to me because I only got 60 HP. So depending on the situation, you can move the energies around depending on who's the active and all that stuff. But you get to choose whichever one, even if there was another one over here, you're going to be like, all right, let's put that energy on you. So you get to move the energies how you want to distribute them. So that's pretty cool. But you have to get head. If you get tails, the attack does nothing. So the next one, you're going to need two more psychic energies which I have right here, boom. So I can use telekinesis. Now in this case, I can do 30 damage to anyone. So if he was the active Pokemon, I can do 30 damage to him. I guess that's where weakness and resistance counts because when you're active, it counts. When you're bench, weakness and resistance does not count. So that's the ruling to basically all cards. But seeing how this one's more like an original card, it doesn't have that uh, ability. So that's basically what it's going to do it's going to do 30 to him or if not if he added a weakness to psychic then it'll do 60. if not i'll do nothing to eevee because it's resistance 30 but again it does says does not apply for weakness and resistance so that resistance does not count for the bench so i can still do the 30 unless he was the active pokemon um or i could just do 30 to them so that's basically the ruling with that uh, there's not much more to it now if i wanted to retreat all i needed was two energies of anything i could just retreat or i could just be like you know what i can do put this double color save those three energies discard that and retreat them so that's basically how that mewtwo basically works now let's talk about um mewtwo and how it was available is it still available how it came out and all that stuff so Beginning off, I forgot to take out a card, so I'm going to take out my Mewtwo. So basically, if you guys remember this Mewtwo, basically when um, it the original artwork was actually in Japan, was actually supposed to be this Mewtwo with like 
shadows of it in the back so it's like it was using double team so it, Mewtwo was like right here and then you had another Mewtwo and then another Mewtwo so it was like double team and it was the artwork was by Ken uh, what was it Ken Shigamaru who basically did the original artwork to this Mewtwo but because America said hey it's they look to us similar and this one came out for the movie let's change the artwork so that's why they asked Christopher Rush to make the artwork for this card who actually makes um, artwork for Magic the Gathering. So that's pretty cool that they got somebody from Magic the Gathering, uh, an English person, to basically make this card. Because to me, this is like the first card I noticed in the promo side that is made by an American compared to all the cards that have been made by Japanese people or Asian names, as I should say, because uh, maybe some of them are from America. And I don't know that, but Christopher Rush is like an American name right there. <laughs> or European, whatever that guy is from, but uh, that's basically how we got this artwork for it. So th basically, the, this Mewtwo was released in 97, well, with this artwork, with the double team, back in 97, um, with um, a sheet of exp um, the seventh generation for World Hobby Fair, um, a sheet of, with, um, of the artwork of Ken Shigamaru, basically all the cards right there, and then it basically came out that way. So that's how it was released, and then it was re-released again with the best of CD, Pokemon CD, music CD, uh, back in 99. So that's basically the two ways that this Mewtwo with this artwork came out in Japan until basically it came out in... America for with Nintendo Power so back in uh, January I think it was 2000 I mean not January back in 2000 2001 I can't recall the, the official date but uh, that's how basically it came out it was basically just released and then uh, we got our hands on this Mewtwo with the new artwork instead of having this artwork that you see here so that's how basically this Mewtwo came out. It also was also re-released, but this time it actually came in a set of the legendary um, cards, uh, booster booster box set uh, as a, ra a rare, ugh, I'm losing my tongue here, as a rare for that set. So that's basically how this Mewtwo also came out. So it's one an actual regular card in that set instead of a promo item. So, but this one is actually the promotional one and then the re-releasing in the legendary collection which was only released outside of japan so europe got it we got it australia got it but not japan uh this basically this artwork and with the legendary collection so that's basically how that mewtwo basically came out now would i recommend him for this type of meta game heck no i mean there is way better mewtwo's now in the meta game uh this mewtwo is just way too weak it'll probably get killed very quickly I don't really recommend getting any of the cards for the original sets. Um, but, oh, I they forget one more thing. This card was also released in Japan for the uh, the cruise set. If you got a, for the stamp rally as well. Uh, I know in my last video I talked about the stamp rally for this guy. But this one was, they were actually released in the same. And if you were in the silver, for completing silver, you will get this Mewtwo, but if you completed gold, you will get the uh, Eevee. So that's basically one more thing that came out for them, for this Mewtwo. Well, the Japanese one with this artwork. So there was two different, uh, three different uh, times that this Mewtwo came out in Japan. All different ways. One was the World Hobby Fair, and then the other one was uh, the promo sheet. I mean, the World Hobby Fair was the promo sheet, then the music CD, and then you had the passenger for the fan club blah 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 oh no stamp rally for silver and that one was gold <laughs> i'm confusing because there's so much information on this mutude so yeah basically i would not recommend them for the for the meta game nowadays would i recommend to get him for your collection yeah sure if you want to pay for the price because he is a pretty pricey card he's actually worth around 25 bucks on eBay from when I saw Troll and Toll was the same thing and cool stuff was out of stock but I couldn't tell there but it's he's, he's around 25 to 30 bucks depending on where you're gonna purchase him so he's a bit pricey but he is one of the hardest promos to get um, actually 
from what I remember back in the day, because he was only released through Nintendo Power, and I didn't know about that, so I had a hard time trying to get him. I actually bought it from somebody who had it. Um, you, original ways to get it also was trading, but it was only released in Nintendo Power for uh, for America, and that's how it came out. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below, guys, because this Mewtwo is pretty pricey. Should you get it for your collection, or should you use it for your meta game? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, nah, don't waste your money. Not worth it. Stay with the basic cards. Or yeah, sure. If you like uh, the Wizard of the Coast promo cards, this is a good one, and it has a very good artwork. Cause I mean, that artwork is really, really good. Don't get me wrong. This artwork is good too, but this one is just my goodness, pretty cool, in my opinion. So let everybody know in the comments below, worth it or not. Uh, my opinion. That's a bit pricey. If you want to pay 25 bucks, around 30, I'm gonna say because of the shipping, then go for it. But other than that, if you're not a collector, don't bother. If you're gonna use this for a deck, don't bother. But with that being said, I got a special thanks for you guys for watching. And oh, I forgot one more thing. And it does fit in standard sleeves. So you just get standard sleeve for Pokemon Magic the Gathering. That's how it fits. So with that being said, give this video a like. If you guys give this video a like, I might get more motivated and do more videos just like this so I can continue and do more Pokemon videos as well and all the for promo look at. So um, with that being said, a special thanks for you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.